Several things have occurred in the Pilot Flying J project. Most importantly, they've started to open sites again. After the first of the year, Berkshire Hathaway purchased them and no sites were opening. Uh, but that has changed. We have now, this past week, seen two additional sites open. Go over that in just a second. Uh, for people who are new to this project, uh, Pilot Flying J is building DC fast chargers on their property in partnership with General Motors Energy and EVgo. Uh, the amenities at the pilots are fast food. Uh, if it's a pilot at Flying J, uh, there's sit-down restaurants, and then both of them have quick service. Kind of like a beefed-up convenience store. These are uh, truck stop locations known as travel centers, uh, which have a uh, shower and laundry for the uh, long-haul truckers. Very clean restrooms. They have free Wi-Fi. They also have premium Wi-Fi, which, you know, similar to a hotel, you could pay for the extra Wi-Fi. And most importantly to me, they're open 24-7, 365. They never close. Which is really nice. I was asked uh, this past week on a live stream, uh, which I'll link down below in the description, uh, which charging network uh, is my favorite. And without question, it's this one. Not only do I charge there for free because I'm a GM owner and I got two years of free EVgo charging uh, with the purchase of my uh, GM vehicle, but uh, there's just so many things about these that I like. It's a very customer focused experience. The chargers are within very close proximity to the facilities. I can walk in, I can get some hot food. Um, I could use the restrooms, free Wi Fi. Uh, and the Wi-Fi on these properties extends out into the exterior as well. So um, there's uh, places to sit down and relax inside if you want to just uh, park your car. And uh, you're not interested in food, but you just want to sit down. They have uh, places to sit. Um, they're conveniently located immediately off the interstates. Um, so if you're doing a road trip, these are perfect. Uh, the brand has been around for decades and well-established, very prolific, very ubiquitous throughout interstate travel. And once this is done, this is going to be uh, for sure my go-to. The pricing is a little bit high if you're not a GM customer. Uh, obviously in my case, free 99 is the best price you could possibly get. But even after that, um, let's see, discounted charging rate. So there was a December 5th press release where it indicated GM owners are going to get discounted charging rates. So this is kind of like a GM private network that is open to other people. And right now the price for other people is, is very high um, in the 60 cents per kilowatt hour range. Um, but for me, this is the best. Even, even if I wasn't a GM customer, I would still probably go here on road trips because I don't nickel and dime myself if i've got a really nice reliable charging stop uh, with all these amenities i would still go here uh, so these are evgo extend locations this means that evgo doesn't actually own the equipment pilot flying j owns the equipment so the evgo member benefits do not extend here however um, the free gm plans do because there's a gm partnership and you'll see there's branding on these um, chargers for gm uh, as I said, the GM owner benefits very shortly here. We're going to be um, notified of what our discounting charging rates are, and we'll be able to do in-route reservation, very similar to the Mercedes-Benz charging hub. It does have Auto Charge Plus, which I really like, which is different from, it's not SAE, it's ISO. ISO 15118 plug and charge. Uh, ISO 15118 plug and charge is in use at uh, Electrify America. Here is called Auto Charge Plus. There's something going on in parallel called Fly, um, Pilot Flying J New Horizons, where they're um, spending a billion dollars over three years in order to do facility facelifts and just kind of modernize the facilities. Uh, sometimes if you show up to the location, you see them under construction. It may not be a DC fast charger. It might just be this New Horizons. So what to expect? In 2023, they opened um, eight stations per month. Um, basically 24 stations. Actually, it was 25. They did make 25 stations in three months. In 2024, we're, we were expected to double that rate. However, we've hit a big pause at the beginning of the year for reasons unknown. I'm speculating it's a result of the Berkshire Hathaway purchase, which is linked right down here, which I'll put in the description. 
just describing the uh, purchase. So Berkshire Hathaway completed, they owned a majority, but they didn't own it all. And at the tail end, or in the uh, first part of January, um, they completed the purchase, and they're now the sole owners of uh, Pilot Corp. So we're expecting um, 175 stations to be completed by December 31st. That's what we're, we're told. That may not be able to be achievable. Um, I'm going to go over some additional information coming out of the GM earnings slide deck here in just a second. After that, uh, an additional 300 stations will open because they say they're going to do um, 500 in total. <clears throat> This is the map of the open locations. Uh, the two new open locations are one right here in Joplin, Missouri, and then there's a new location in Houston, Texas, which just opened. These are lo the locations spotted under construction. There is a new one here in Waddy, Kentucky, in between Lexington and Louisville. This is the map of what is said to be completed by the end of 2024, and this is the map of what phase one, which is the, basically the first 250 of the 500 will look like. And you have to look at the white pin drops. This is the white pin drops. Now here's the information that I was talking about. So GM announced the uh, fourth quarter earnings, slide number 10. They always release a slide deck when they do their earnings. And right here, this box is what I'm talking about. It says, through collaborations with Pilot Company and EVGO, expects to add more than 3,000 public DC fast chargers by the end of 2024. Now, this is in combination with EVGO. But let me just do the math on that real quick to put this in perspective. So th in one year, they're going to add 3,000. So if those were all Pilot locations that would be 750 and they're said to only open 150 so every indication is that 150 that pilot promised will be completed because they're shooting way above that so obviously evgo itself is going to be on a expansion boon as well so in parallel to the pilot flying j build an order of three times the number of EVGO stations will be built as well, if this is to believe, be to believe. And um, their indications were a little bit off last year, but even still, even if they only hit 50% of that mark, that's still a staggering expansion. The interstate signage is getting updated every time they put in one of these, which is nice. You see right here, it says pilot EV charging, uh, percent complete. And here's the open locations. So we're now at 27. I added a new column to uh, show whether or not the site is NEVI funded or not. There are two sites that are NEVI funded. Um, I'm going to stop here in each one of the time zones. Um, I can't quite fit them on the screen anymore. So here's the Eastern time zone and let me scroll down. All right, so there's the end of the Eastern time zone. Here's the central time zone, the two new ones, which are Houston, Texas on I-45 and Joplin, Missouri. Both have canopies, no Nebby, Nebby funding. Mountain time zones are unchanged and the Pacific time zones are unchanged. Spotted under construction, there is one new one. Again, I've added a column for Nebby funding. It's in Waddy, Kentucky. Uh, this one here is the first one spotted with six stalls. So conceivably they're doing a pivot on the number of stalls uh, being only four. So of the ones, this one here is a four stall build, but we'll have to see how many of these six stall ones they are adding to the portfolio. Uh, central time zone, let me see if I can get that. Yeah, I can get that into the screen. Pause there for a second. Mountain and Pacific time zones. There's been many states announcing NEVI funding. And what I've done is I've compiled a list of all the ones uh, that have been announced uh, where Pilot Corp was awarded the funds. Uh, so construction at these sites has not yet started. The total is 42, 32 Pilot, 10 Flying J. 
and uh, should be noted that several of these locations were spotted on VW awarded sites, but uh, since they qualify for NEVI, they've been moved, moved over to a NEVI funding. All right, so let me scroll down here. I'm alphabetizing by state. All right, so I included the address because um, the NEVI funding announcements often don't include an address. Uh, so I took the time to go through and identify each one of these. So in Colorado, we've got two, uh, one in Kansas. Michigan just announced their NEVI funding. Uh, these two, uh, the way the NEVI funding is announced is it's a kind of like a geographic region. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are the two locations that are being referred to in their NEVI funding. I'll have to watch that, but I'm, I'm almost positive that's the case. New Mexico announced NEVI funding. Uh, there's two Pilot Flying J's in the New Mexico. Ohio is really the windfall. Uh, there's a ton of Pilot Flying J in getting NEVI funding in Ohio, one of which is already built. But these are the ones that are not spotted under construction that will be coming here shortly because Ohio has actually started to disperse funds. Pennsylvania has two pilots um, receiving NEVI funds. Tennessee announced their NEVI funds, and there's four. Uh, Texas only has two. Texas is giving a lot of money to the Tesla supercharger network, obviously, because uh, Tesla calls Texas home now. And Utah. There is one Pilot Flying J on the Utah NEVI funding. This other one is just miscellaneous sites that have been spotted on VW sites. In North Carolina, I contacted the person who's in charge of the program, and he confirmed um, these locations are on the VW. And I asked when to expect them to actually occur, and I got dead air back. So not really sure about that. Perhaps what they're doing is they're refactoring uh, for NEVI awards, similar to what Ohio did, and taking some of these off the uh, VW Fund site and moving them over to the NEVI site. And the canopy designs are in a few different uh, form factors. Uh, type A, and this is all confirmed, uh, Type A is a curbside can canopy uh, like this with um, four stalls. It's a rectangle. Type C, uh, which is supposed to be the most popular, is a 40-foot square canopy with pull-through. Uh, type D is a diamond shape. Type E is also a diamond shape, but it's reversed, and it has to do with how the drive lines are at that location. And then there's a type EX, where they just extend the gas canopy uh, and put in uh, DC fast chargers as a part of the... Um, just So this location, this... Um, design is used for sites that don't have a lot of space and these pilot flying j's normally have a good chunk of real estate but sometimes the location allocated to cars not uh, long-haul truckers but cars is limited and so this ex design is used for tight locations and i'll run the slideshow that has all the canopy locations open and spotted under construction thanks for watching